Hello and welcome to the ChainForums.com. In this video, you will see how to get the Windows 10 upgrade ESD file from Windows Update and create your own ISO disk image for later upgrade or clean installation of Windows 10. The whole process starts from Windows Update. From Start menu, Settings, Update and Recovery, and check for updates. Let Windows Update download the latest build upgrade. It comes as an ESD file and will be stored locally on your computer. I will speed things up a little bit and we continue when the download has finished. Okay, Windows Update has finished downloading the upgrade. Those of you who prefer an upgrade install instead of a clean install, you can relax now and let Windows Update finish the job. When the upgrade finally has finished, you will find the ESD file in Recovery Image folder on the root of the drive C. As I am not interested in upgrade install, I want to grab the ESD file as soon as possible to make an ISO for a clean install. I check first that Explorer is set to show hidden items and protected system folders. Now I just wait that window starts unpacking and compressing the compressed temporary upgrade files. In the Windows Update dialog I can see Windows is preparing to install updates. Finally, I can see that Windows has uncompressed the upgrade files and created the working folder $windows.tilde.bt. In its sources subfolder, I can find the install ESD file and I start copying it to desktop. I will also disconnect my computer or in this example video now my virtual machine from network. This causes Windows Update to fail in upgrading Windows. I have no purpose to upgrade, I just want the ESD file in order to be able to create the ISO file. You have to be fast here if you want to grab the install.esd file before Windows starts upgrading. If Windows has already started the upgrade process, the ESD file is no longer in a readable form on your computer and you have to wait until the upgrade has finished. If you only want an ISO for a clean install, this is the way to do it. If you have time and patience to sit through the upgrade process, just wait and after the upgrade, the same install.esd file can be found in the recovery image folder on the root of the drive C. To be sure the upgrade process has really been interrupted, I let Windows to install the other updates it downloaded by restarting Windows. Back to the desktop. 
it's time to reconnect the network. Check that the upgrade really has failed. If so, there should be a button retry instead of button check updates. And that done, open a browser and go to the 10 forumscom and search for the ESD to ISO tutorial. Ah, okay, the Spartan browser refused to start. Let's use the old and trustworthy Internet Explorer. I have only assigned 2 GB of RAM for this virtual machine for this upgrade purpose. It's a little bit sticky and working a little bit slow, but we are getting there. forums.com and click the tutorials link in the front page. Search for ESD to ISO Click the ESD to ISO tutorial link and scroll down a little bit. You will find a OneDrive link. To download the ESD to ISO converter. Right click the file and select download. Save the zip file and when the download has finished, open the zip file and select Extract all from the ribbon in Explorer. Open the unpacked folder and copy your install.esd file to the same folder. Click File, click Open Comment Prompt, click Open Comment Prompt as Administrator. Type ESD to ISO space install.esd and hit enter. Select the ISO type and press enter. See the tutorial for difference between an ESD based ISO image and a WIM based ISO image. The tool starts working now, first creating a backup of your ESD file. I will now fast forward a little bit, we'll come back when the ISO has been created. Ok. 
Okay, the ISO image has been created. You can now use it to do a clean install of Windows 10 or if you so prefer to upgrade your existing Windows 10. Just to be sure, I mount it as a virtual DVD drive now and start the upgrade process. Here we go, the ISO is working and it is preparing for upgrading the windows. That's it. You have now your own personal ISO disk image for Windows 10 to be used as you wish for clean install, for upgrade, for repair install and so on.